Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Haha, <laughs> boss mode. Well, it's finally here. And boy, what fun it can be. I'm just loving this game mode, to be fair. Now, the thing is, it's not just about yolloing out there and dishing out damage. I mean, if you want to get the most out of boss mode, well, I'm going to have to give you a few tips. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Before we get into that, however, Let's understand what boss mode actually is first. Basically, you have unlimited lives. Unless you're the boss, then you only have three lives. But to make up for you only having three lives, you have double the amount of HP and a faster reload time. In fact, 50% faster, to be precise. The thing is, you're going to need that double HP and that faster reload because you have zero camo profile. None. Zip. Nada. Yep, you are spotted by everyone, everywhere, at all times. So there's no point trying to hide or be a sneaky little beaky. Now, apart from the boss, you can be a catalyst, which gives you the poison shot ability, a regenerator, which makes you a medic, a bomber, which is by far one of the funniest roles, and a graviton. Again, it's a fun role, but it's also the most annoying role on the battlefield when you are on the end of a black hole. Now look, the overall aim is to get 30 points by killing the enemy. If you kill their boss, then you get 5 points, but all the rest of them, you only get 1 point. You therefore need to try your best to kill the enemy boss, whilst making damn sure that your own boss remains alive at all costs. Aside from that, it's pretty straightforward, and it's a really fun mode indeed. Now let's get to the tips. Biggest tip is to make sure your boss remains alive, no matter what. If you are a medic, aka a regenerator, then you need to plant yourself near the boss and constantly heal them. Because if you lose a boss, chances are you'll end up losing the battle. If you are a boss, you also have a really important role to play. You have more HP, plus you have the bomber ability and a much faster reload. This means you get to dish out a shared load of damage and at the same time take damage back. And you need to be active. In fact, you need to be very active indeed. Now this is where the medic role becomes vital because the boss is constantly spotted and therefore will undoubtedly get focus. So medics, do yourself and your team a favor. Help your boss at all costs even if it means you don't get to do that much damage when you're in that role. Thing is, a passive boss is not a good idea because you're wasting your abilities and you're letting your team down. That doesn't mean YOLO away because you will get focused and focused hard. And if you lose your lives, well, you'll lose the battle. Simple, really. So as a boss, plan ahead, use your abilities wisely and make sure your medics are with you. Bombers are by far the most fun role after being a boss. Well, I think they are. I love the bomber ability. Basically, you can YOLO into a crowd of enemy, press your bomb button, and watch their HP literally fly away in various directions. However, timing is also important. Because if you YOLO too soon, or you YOLO into the enemy spawn, then you will see your HP disappear far quicker than you would like. Thing is, with the bomber roll, you can do some amazing things, like what I'm going to do with the 148. I'm going to basically fly over his head, press the bomb button, and watch him disappear. Gravitons. Well, they're also fun, but they're also the most annoying to be on the receiving end of. They basically throw black holes at you. And before you know it, you're all over the place fighting hard to try and get a shot in whilst being targeted by all in sundry yourself. If you are a Graviton, then your role is pretty straightforward. Just annoy the enemy and smack them whilst they're totally out of control. It's fun to throw a black hole when there is more than one enemy tank around. The pileups that can happen will certainly make you giggle. Don't forget to shoot them. Medics, as I said, have the ability to heal. And ideally, they should be helping their boss stay alive. Forget the rest of the team. The boss is the most vital role and medics must focus on that. Lastly, there's the catalyst. With the poison shot, this can be good fun also. And a wow-timed poison shot 
will cripple the enemy and give you some really nice damage. I like this game mode. It's refreshingly simple, good fun and incredibly entertaining. You also have the chance to make some pretty hardcore credits and XP. And if you have birthday tanks or XP boosters, now is the time to load them up. Because boss mode is available from tiers 5 to 10. So don't feel you're too restricted. Just remember, boss mode is not normal game mode. So don't carry over you your excessive playstyle into randoms or ratings. Because not only will you be disappointed, you will also really annoy your team. Aside from that, there really isn't much more to say about boss mode, other than it's excellent fun and a nice break from grinding and stat paddling. So go out, enjoy, and hopefully these little tips might be with more games. By the way, I've been Fujit, that's been my take on boss mode. By all means, comment everything below, give me your thoughts on this, because I'd like to know. And until the next time guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because, you know, that is really what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.